First, I head deep under the streets of Liverpool. I'm in Liverpool as a fascinating heritage centre known as Williamston's Subterranean Labyrinth. Since it opened in 2002, it's had over 55,000 visitors. Let's go and find out a bit more. So, Joseph Williamson was, well, he earned the nickname, the Mad Mole of Edgehill, didn't he? Yeah. Tell us a bit about him. Joseph Williamson originally came to Liverpool in the 1800s. Oh, so he's not from Liverpool? No, oh. it's thought that he's from Warrington. Right. Um, but he came over at the age of 11 and worked for Richard Tate from the Tate Tobacco and Snuff Manufacturers. And actually married into married the Tate Married into family. the family, yeah. And over the years, worked his way up through the company and eventually became a very wealthy man mm -hmm. and started to employ people in Liverpool um, to build these tunnels that you're walking through at the moment. So what was the idea of the tunnels, do you think, Sean? And the main reason for the creation of the tunnels is an act of philanthropy. He wants to provide employment for men returning from the Napoleonic Wars. Because, yeah, there were hundreds and well, probably thousands of uh, men coming back from those yeah. wars, weren't there? Desperate and, uh, for work. Yeah, yeah. So he's employed them. He employed them to do all kinds of jobs, though. He got them to dig a hole and then a week later fill it in again. He got them to move piles of rocks and mm -hmm. bricks from one side to the other. Back again, back again, all day long, just as so they were working. Right. Now, you said that this, uh, this actual um, uh, tunnel that we're in at the moment, this would actually have been underneath his garden to his house, is that right? Yeah, above the tunnels um, are the gardens extending back to where the houses were on Mason Street. Right. And it's because beforehand, for a few centuries, it had been a quarry. And uh, what you can see is actually the base of the quarry here. OK. And Williamson's getting his men to brick an arch across the top of it so that he can reclaim the land above. So originally, it, this quarry would have been open to the skies then? Yeah. So, and is that the idea of sort of one arch above another? Yeah, because you can see we've got another arch there and there would have been a third one below that. Right. And it's because we don't know what the depths of the holes would have been when he bought the land. Okay. So it's a case of we know he wants to reach a cliff face on Mason Street above us, so he's got his men to build an arch. Use wooden formers to build the next arch and then mm. use wooden formers to build the top arch. Now, I have to ask you, is there any truth in the myth, the story, that um, he actually built these tunnels because of uh, religious reasons? He thought that uh, Armageddon was about to come and it would be a way for him to hide away and, and emerge uh, when the new life began. Is there any truth um, in that one? At the moment, there's no evidence to back that one up. There's a lot of theories, but the main ones are, like I said, an act of philanthropy mm. and land reclamation. Right, right. Now, I can see a lot of artefacts around here. Obviously, well, I'm saying obviously, have they all come from... Uh, the excavation work that's been going on? Yeah, all the artefacts that you can see have all been uncovered in this part of the tunnel network. Right. Um, the jars over that side are found in the cellar that you can see in the first part of the tunnels. Right, so how have they ended up here? It's, it's almost as if they've been dumped. Is that right? Yes, um, after Williamson died in 1840, nobody worked on the tunnels after that. And you've got to remember that the people living above had no bins and it was just a case of they realised there's a big hole below us, nobody's making use of it. So they cut holes in the floor and threw the rubbish down. So there's a lot of household rubbish and factory rubbish that's responsible. Mm. So, so generally speaking, most of the tunnels were actually filled with rubbish then? Yeah, completely full to the top. So the idea has been to sort of excavate them over the years? That's what we've been doing and since we've And open them up to the public? Yeah. Excellent, great. Sean, it's been a delight.